Christina McKenzie, Assistant Curator of Exhibitions. As the exhibitionist for the University of Aberdeen Collections, does this mean you're paid to be a bit of a show-off? In a way. I'm paid to show off University Collections. I imagine planning an exhibition is a bit like being a wedding planner, designing, arranging and sorting out the venue decorations for the big day. Am I right? Pretty much we are a bit of a jack of all trades in this job. Um, we work on an exhibition from the very start, when it's just an idea, right up until hoovering the gallery before we open to the public. We work with co-curators and other members of the team to develop it into something more tangible and work out what collections could be displayed. Um, we design the exhibition layout and write interpretation. We create marketing materials such as posters and leaflets. Finally, we usually have a hectic couple of weeks of installation filled with painting walls, hanging shelves, putting up vinyl and occasionally building security systems for the collections that are going to be on display. The whole process is usually done over the course of many months with the help from everyone in the team and we have a lot of partners within the university and external partners and actually our job is mostly just coordinating all of these different roles to make sure everything gets done on time so that we can open on time. What is the most challenging object you've ever had to put in an exhibition? I think that has to be the star object of one of our most recent exhibitions, Walking with Birds. It's an edition of Audubon's Birds of America, an amazing one metre high book filled with prints of, you guessed it, birds from America. The illustrations are absolutely beautiful and they're drawn life-size, but this does mean that the book is an absolute beast to try and get into a case. It took four of us to put it in the case, then turn the pages to display the images we wanted on display, and if that wasn't hard enough, two of our colleagues then came into the gallery, told us it was too high on the plinths, and we had to take out the book, remove the plinths, and reinstall the book into the case again. They weren't wrong about the plinths being too high and it looked a lot better on the bottom of the case. However, it doesn't mean we were too happy about that extra challenge. I did however manage to film it and get this Benny Hill-esque video out of it as a result. I like the idea of an exhibition entitled Dogs in Art, but if you had carte blanche and limitless resources, what exhibition would you create from the university's collections? Um, my least favourite part of doing an exhibition is probably writing the interpretation. So I'd like to do a very minimal ex text exhibition that just displays loads of our collections. For example, we have, I think, thousands of flints from Scotland in the collection, and part of me would love to just put on a display of hundreds of these with no other interpretation than flint. Maybe also Scotland. Okay, on to our quick fire round. So, blockbuster exhibitions, dinosaurs or mummies? I did love the art putting on our exhibition to Heru, which is about an ancient Egyptian woman. Uh, we learned a lot more about her life through modern photogrammetry techniques such as CT scans, and it was amazing to learn the type of daily life she might have led through these techniques. We also had facial reconstructions, so we got to see what she might have looked like, and by the end of the process I really felt quite close to her. However, I absolutely love animatronic dinosaurs, so it's going to be that. Okay, you're at a private view. Red wine and canopies, or white wine and crisps? Anything with crisps. I will even give up the wine if I can just have the extra crisps. The wedding planner, or wedding crashers? I've never actually seen wedding crashers. I'm not super fond of the wedding planner either. Can I go for corpse bride instead? Finally, the getty or spaghetti? Easy, spaghetti. Bolognese with garlic bread. Okay, for your lockdown challenge, we asked you to create an exhibition out of objects in your house beginning with the letter C. Can you show us what you did, please? We start with the collection of chairs and cushions from my house. And some visitors are already enjoying <laughs> the cushion and chair experience. We then move on to the crochet hook and chewed up tennis ball display, which has been extremely popular with some of our furrier visitors. 